My son was 12 when the diagnosis was read. He took the news well, standing tall from his bed. But to be honest, up until that time, we had no idea he was in sick. He showed no symptom, no sign. He was just a regular, healthy 12-year-old kid, a little scrawny, but otherwise fine. And my son was 12, and I was angry. My son is 12, I screamed at the world. He never had a chance to kiss a girl. My son is 12, so much of life he never seen. And now you're telling me he might not reach 13? And though the anger consumed and at times debilitated me, I made sure that not even once my anger, I'd let my son see. And eventually the anger, it did pass, but in its stead, a fear came, and I swear that fear would last. And I cried at times. I cried at night. I cried myself to sleep. I cried desperate just for anyone, just to hear my plea. But through it all, I made sure that not once my fear, I would let my son see. You'll find my boy, I'd say to his face, you're young and strong and brave and smart. A disease like this never tear you apart. You're a fighter, a joker, a dreamer to beat. Damn if a son of mine gets knocked off his feet. So what if you fall, you get right back up because you are my son, and my sons don't give up. And he smiled. He smiled when all the surgery was done. He smiled and joked like it was all fun. He smiled when the chemo took the hair from his head. He smiled while barely conscious sitting up in his bed. He smiled at me, his brother and mother. He smiled at others as if they were cousins. He smiled until the dark veil passed over our heads. He smiled until the day my son turned 13. And 14 came next, and 15 and on. He grew and he grew and he came so strong. He's a man now. He lives overseas, doesn't call as often as he should. But he beat that disease because he is my son, and I need to stop because I'm lying. Now, the truth is, though the words I speak are true, they were written by another one. And the man who wrote them, now he's great. And me, I'm just his son. <laughs>